All right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. And uh, our good floor was in from Vinecraft with uh, well, a short visit, just one wine. Well, I'm going to tag on the Decades 5 because that is his wine also. Uh, the winemaker actually just sent this wine to me in the mail to see if I would, you know, what I thought of it. And uh, this is our friend from Montevero from Alpha Omega. It was just in the store to do a tasting with us. He said, Andrew, I'm going to send you something out to see uh, if what you think of it. I think it's one of the best Petit Verdots made in this country. And I would have to agree we had the last vintage. It was fantastic. The current release, the 09, also fantastic. But first, a little Philippe Gonet, a small boutique champagne producer and uh, from Le Menil sur Auger. And this is a uh, Chardonnay-based, uh, well, 30% Pinot Noir, uh, 30% Chardonnay, 60% Pinot, 10% Pinot Meunier, Grand Reserve Brut. Um, they uh, uh, buy most of the black fruit uh, for the negotiant, uh, as a, a negotiant, you know, this is a producer that buys fruit and they own vineyards. They own vineyards in an area that's very good for Chardonnay. What I'm trying to say is they buy the black fruit, the Pinot Meunier, and the Pinot Noir. Nice concentration here. A really nice bouquet on the nose with ginger spice, green apple, star anise, some lemon blossom here as well. And uh, really good concentration on the palate as well with those flavors. And a nice creamy mousse and pretty floral perfume showing on the finish. And really light and refreshing. Uh, something we love about champagne. It makes the tongue salivate for food. All right, the Decades 5 Petit Verdot. This is a wine from Stagecoach Vineyard. And, uh, wow, a really big wine. This wine's got a lot of dark cherry, blackberry fruit on the nose, dark spices, violet floral aroma, aromas, and dark chocolate liquor spice as well. Really well-endowed bouquet of aromas opening up nicely after a day. I kept this one uh, for the second day in the bottle. Something I like to do to show how, see how a wine is going to age, and the better wine's always better the next day. This wine really thick and chewy on the tongue with layers of blackberry fruit liqueur and exotic spices. Really heavy minerality to this wine. That's what you get when you, from the mountain fruit, this is way up in the stagecoach vineyard here uh, that Jan Krupp owns. Uh, black spices and earth um, really showing some nice complexity on the finish here. That uh, espresso, dark mocha notes, along with some violet floral notes coming through on the finish. Most excellent juice. One of the best petite verdots that I've had this year, and it's priced accordingly. It's in the $120 price range retail. All right, that's what I had to drink with our folks from Vinecraft. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember... Always drink the good stuff first.